What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be replacing the HID bulb on the 2012 Acura TSX. Um, I've read online that you can replace these without having to remove the front bumper and the headlight, but I haven't been able to find a good option for that. A lot of the people are saying to go through the uh, fender uh, liner and you should be able to access it, but I haven't been able to access the uh, HID bulb from that point. So I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to remove the front bumper and remove the headlight in order to remove the bulb. Uh, I figured it's, you know, just do it properly. Then to try and finagle something through a tiny hole and screw something up. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to remove the front bumper. Uh, from what I understand, you gotta remove these clips one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this will come off. Uh, on top of that, we're going to remove this um, that's holding the bumper to the fender liner on both sides, passenger and driver, and that should release the front bumper. Uh, sorry, under furthermore, there are clips underneath here, right here, these black clips. That we have to take out basically you just take a uh, flathead and wedge it in between just to be safe though you want to pry evenly on each side otherwise you'll end up having this i ended up cracking a little bit so yeah just be careful pulling those out so i'll get back to you once i remove all the clips all right so continuing i have removed this front plastic piece from the top here. Um, those were those little plastic pieces all the way. Those aren't them. They're over here. Those are the ones you have to remove underneath the bumper. So right now this is loose. Um, make sure you take out this screw here that's holding the bumper to the fender liner. And as you just saw, you just kind of tug a little bit to pull out the front bumper. Uh, just make sure there are clips here holding on that you don't want to crack that holds the bumper mounted. So you're just going to want to pry very easily. I'm going to put the camera down for this. But you guys can watch. Wish me luck. All right, so as you can see, there are these clips here that you really don't want to break. So if you saw, oh, well, you guys just did see what I did. Um, take a very thin flathead and try and wedge it here to release this clip that goes all the way over there. And that hooks into the bumper. So when you go to put your bumper back, you don't have strip clips, which will make your bumper wobbly. So just be very gentle with that and it should release the bumper. Now I'm gonna go do the other side. All right, quick tidbit before you guys go and ripping your fender liners, you're gonna have to remove these two screws also. I ripped the one down here, but luckily there'll still be one left. So before you go and take off your front bumper, make sure you take out all three of the screws instead of online. I saw a video and they just did the one, so I figured it was just one, but luckily I was able to salvage. So here we go. And like that, your front bumper should come off. Just be careful if you have fog lights, your fog lights are still attached, but it should expose the, um, the headlight. So you'll be able to remove that and replace the bulbs. Okay, so to remove the headlight, before you do anything, it is good practice to disconnect your battery so you don't electrocute yourself or short anything out by accident. Um, but to take out the headlight, there's gonna be three screws, one here at the top, one here at the bottom and then here on the side 
they're all 10 millimeter so you just unratchet them and uh, the headlight should come out so I did that on this side I removed all three screws so we're gonna see if the headlight comes out don't go yanking your uh, headlights out just yet all right so there are actually four screws one more right here so it's hidden underneath this plastic guard so be sure to move that and remove that before you go and crack your headlight So there you go. You saw the headlight just drop out. And again, be careful because there's the wires are still attached. Okay, so this is your uh, high beam. Sorry, this is your HID, turn signal, and high beam. So if you ever needed to change your high beam, I don't think you need to go through the whole process. I believe you can reach inside. You have to move the washer coolant tank on the passenger side, but here you should be able to reach and finagle it in. But in case you feel like changing all your bulbs, this is a great opportunity to do that. I'm gonna be changing both the driver's side and the passenger HID, just because I have done all the work. And plus if you change one, it's probably close to having the other one burn out soon. So you might as well do both at one time. Okay, so that arrow means when you tighten it, tighten it to that point. So you gotta turn it counterclockwise, uh, which exposes the HID. <clears throat> okay, now at this point, when you're getting close to touching anything electrical that can conduct current, you wanna wear gloves because you don't wanna get any of your oil around any of the electrical uh, spots, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, which could cause uneven uh, current and could short out something quickly. All right, so first you want to remove this plug up top. It's just going to hold in this piece and then you're going to want to twist it to release it from the bulb. Okay, like so. And then now once that is, this is just the bulb, it's held in by two clips here. And basically you just need to push and release it and then do the same on this side and that should flip up and you pull the bulb out all right so then now you grab your brand new bulbs uh, I got these off eBay they're supposed to be OEM spec 6.5 K super bright xenon bulb Okay. Again, when you are handling any kind of bulb, wear gloves so you don't get any of the oil onto the bulb. If you do, uh, definitely wipe it off with some alcohol or uh, some kind of oil remover. I guess it would just be alcohol, just so you don't get any oil on the bulb. Okay, so then it's exactly the same when you reinstall. Uh, you put the bulb in. Close the clips. And put the uh, ballast back on. Now there's little tabs here if you can see, you don't want to crack those. They'll slide into this slot and then you twist it back. And then once all that is back together, one, two, Get your cap back and push it towards this triangle. Okay, two brand new bolts. So now you're gonna want to shut everything down and retighten everything. All right, so reassembled, and that is pretty much it. You got working HIDs. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I hope this video has helped you a lot. I looked around before I did this video and I couldn't find anything on it. So I decided to make my own. I uh, hope this helps some of you or at least one of you. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.